Good afternoon and welcome to Boston Asian Radio and TV English Daily News Today. I am your host, Lei. Here's a look at the top stories making headlines today. Attorney General Investigating Boston Police Gang Unit and Database Boston Public Schools Faulty Billing Wasted $25,000 and Allowed Corruption, City Fines Body of four-year-old boy who went missing on Castle Island is found. Accountability needs to be taken. Women hit by Boston police fan file for criminal charges. Methlin man allegedly attacked police officers after refusing to leave Tewksbury hotel room. Attorney General investigating Boston police gang unit and database. Attorney General Andrea Campbell's office says it's investigating the Boston police department's gang unit and gang database after it received allegations of racially biased policing. Our Civil Rights Division is reviewing the Youth Violence Strike Force and its gang assessment database based on allegations that, between 2018 and the present, there may have been a pattern or practice of racially biased policing, Campbell's office said in a statement Monday. We have received the full cooperation of the Boston Police Department and our review is ongoing. The Youth Violence Strike Force is the official name for what's colloquially referred to as the department's gang unit. The department's website says the strike force is intended to reduce the criminal activity and antisocial behavior of youthful offenders and youth gangs through directed and community-based policing strategies. Boston Public Schools faulty billing wasted $25,000 and allowed corruption, city fines. A municipal watchdog agency determined Sunday that Boston Public Schools mishandled a plumbing vendor's invoices and lost roughly $25,000 that could have been spent on kids. The Boston Finance Commission said on May 11 that BPS owed a plumbing vendor $164,000 for work done since 2018. The district paid the vendor through a second heating, ventilation and air conditioning contractor that falsely charged the district, the study said. The HVAC contractor, Canton's e and &E Systems Incorporated, charged BPS 15% more and presented corruption opportunities, the study found. This transaction unnecessarily cost the taxpayers money that could have gone towards services for Boston public school students, undermines the faith citizens have in their public officials, and will potentially cause vendors to question whether they should enter a business relationship with the city of Boston, the report said. Body of four-year-old boy who went missing on Castle Island is found. The steady from of multiple helicopters dominated the air around Castle Island on Monday morning. Bubbles in the water marked the progress of dive teams below, and an array of drones assisted in scouring the area into the afternoon as the search for missing four-year-old Mohamed Fofana entered a second day. State police and Boston police canines double and triple checked on the faint hope that Mohamed, a nonverbal child with autism who was last seen heading toward the water Sunday night, was not hiding out around the grounds of the old fortress that gives Castle Island its name. The boy's body was found just after noon on Monday on Spectacle Island. As the tide cycle approached its low point, a marine unit found Mohammed's body washed up on Spectacle Island. Procopio said he would be taken back to the mainland and turned over to the office of the chief medical examiner to determine the cause of Mohammed's death. Accountability needs to be taken. Women hit by Boston police van file for criminal charges. Two women whose car was totaled by a Boston police van in a video incident are seeking criminal charges against the driver, who was twice arrested for careless and dangerous driving before joining the department. Police claim Santeo drove the van that hit Edwards' automobile as it approached Dale Street and Walnut Avenue. Edwards concussed. The automobile crushed Panel's right side, slicing her liver and injuring her leg. Two officers were hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. After Santeo catapulted both vehicles across the street where they hopped a curb, crashed through a metal link fence and hit the side of a residential building before finally coming to rest. The two women filed an application for criminal complaint in Roxbury District Court, asking the Suffolk District Attorney's Office to charge him with reckless driving. Method and man allegedly attacked police officers after refusing to leave Tewksbury Hotel Room. Tewksbury police arrested a 36-year-old Methuen man Saturday after he refused to leave a hotel room he was due to check out of. Patrick Buckley allegedly refused to check out of his room in a hotel at 1910 Andover Street or pay for another night, leading hotel staff to call police around noon, police said in a news release Monday. When police arrived, they spoke to Buckley, who they said was enraged and shouting. Buckley then allegedly assaulted three police officers, spitting on one, spitting on and punching a second, and punching a third. Police arrested Buckley and took him to a hospital for evaluation. Police said neither Buckley nor the three officers were seriously injured during the incident. Police charged Buckley with three counts of assault and battery on a police officer, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. Buckley was arraigned in Lowell District Court Monday. Stay tuned for more updates on Boston News as it develops.